Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes to the chief building action. Without the drama. Okay, I know you guys think I took the day off yesterday. But I really didn't. <laughs> I was just kind of stumped. Working on this rudder. Because uh, I got to looking at it. This rudder, you see it has a little doohickey here. See that little doohickey? Kind of. And uh, mine was straight. Mine went straight. And uh, that was sanded to a point so I couldn't add this back here. See how it is? So I cut that one off. Uh, first, I tried to just add some on here. I cut it back a little bit, you know, and, and added a piece on there and trimmed it, and I just couldn't get it sanded right. So I made another one. And the uh, same thing, I just couldn't sand it right. You know, it was getting too thin out here in the tip. And uh, so I cut that one off. Then I decided, well, it's got to be a little bit fatter down here than it is up here. To make this work out so I trimmed a quarter inch off the bottom of this foam up to nothing to where it would make it a little fatter down here and I finally got it to work out it was still a little thin so I stood it straight up on my bandsaw and cut it in the center and uh, put some put a piece of this fiberglass in it you know about that much then uh, Epoxied her up, trimmed her off, you know, you can still see it in the center there. But uh, I made it stiff enough to where it wouldn't break when I was molding it. But it turned out pretty good. Looks good now. And I also took everywhere I could, I glued that flat glass. I got it there because when you do it first, it turns out so much better. You get such a nice corner. So I glued it there, and on the front I actually taped it on the plane, put some epoxy in there, made that little piece, stuck it on the plane because that's at kind of an angle. I wanted it at a perfect angle with the hat, so when that epoxy was wet, I just put it in there and shoved it up tight. Now that little piece right there is perfect with the back of my hatch. Okay, then I got a piece on the bottom. I, had, I didn't have a piece that big. I had to actually lay that up. But that's where I am. I got my new rudder and it's nice and straight. Put this wood on the back first, man. That keeps them things just razor blade shape. They're straight, you know. That dude is straight. And it's looking pretty good. I got this sanded just right. And you see, I got to sand this side yet. But you see all them mill marks? Okay, Butch allows for them. The part begins at the bottom of that trench. So you got to sand it, you know, to get it to the right thickness. I guess you want to say, but he allows for that. That's caused by his router bit, you know, can't get around it. But it's, it's allowed for, so. The parts begin when you get it smooth, you know. But now I gotta trim this edge. And now I'm gonna use the old vibrating cutter.
Sure, this edge comes out. Now I realize that's probably that's a camera lens. I mean, a light. Probably there's something else that's going to go there, but we're going to have to make something separate because uh, on the model it curves in, and it, you know the mold would be locked on there. But uh, we'll figure something out. TV. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll make some more Bob TV. So tune in. Same Bob time. Same Bob station.